Now to the police shooting of a teenager that is sparking outrage. Overnight, a new wave of protests in Pittsburgh over the death of Antoine Rose. ABC's Kenneth Moten is there now with the demonstrations and what authorities are saying about the case. Kenneth, good morning. Good morning, Adrian. Busy night on these streets for protesters and police. We were with them overnight as they marched through the city over that bridge right there to the interstate. At one point, they were just outside the baseball stadium right as the Pirates game was getting out. Outrage is growing in this community, in this area, as new details emerge about the police shooting death of Antoine Rose. Who needs to go? The Overnight, tense moments in Pittsburgh, police in riot gear, protesters in the streets. Demonstrators marched, shutting down roadways, an interstate and this critical bridge, demanding justice for 17-year-old Antoine Rose. I'm out here because it's inhumane to kill black children. And that was murder, what happened? An unarmed Antoine shot and killed by East Pittsburgh police officer Michael Rosfeld. As he ran away from a traffic stop earlier in the week, the district attorney is now revealing investigators found an empty 9mm gun clip in the teen's front pocket after the shooting. I'm not going to talk about everything that happened that night, but um, uh, you asked me the question, did he have a 9mm, did he have a clip? He had a clip in his pocket. They're looking for an excuse. They're trying to find a reason to get this cop off. Investigators say the car Antoine was riding in operated as a ride share or taxi, but it also matched the description of a vehicle possibly involved in a drive-by shooting minutes before. Authorities say they have video, but wouldn't give any specifics. Attorneys for Antoine's family calling the new developments irrelevant. Too many kids or young African-American males are being shot. They're dead. They're not here to tell the story. If they could just be here to tell the story, we might hear the other side. The DA says Officer Rossfeld is now cooperating with this investigation after getting a new attorney. The prosecutor plans to speak more about the details of this case after Antoine is laid to rest Monday. Wit. Kenneth Moten in Pittsburgh for us. Thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.